Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name is Richard and today I'm going to teach you how to play bubble roulette, machine roulette, pretty much any roulette where there's not a person staffing it. Now this has become very popular in the state of Florida as well as very popular on cruise ships. Now I've been cruising for the past three years, pretty much all over the world. And a lot of people say, well, you pay for your cruises and gambling losses. Uh, I have been cruising for free for the past three years. Uh, I'm a gambler. But my favorite thing to play is actually roulette. There's one game I love more than anything else is roulette. And we're going to talk about a strategy in roulette called the Fibonacci sequence. It's a sequence of numbers and I've shared this with people before and I want to show you how I play the Fibonacci sequence. First of all, you do not go play this at a traditional roulette table. This is to be played at electronic roulette tables as well as tables that are digital like this. Now, the thing to remember is that these tables have minimums and they have maximums. Usually the minimum starts around a dollar. We're going to start around a dollar, but that's just on one thing. Sometimes you might have to play at least $5 across multiple numbers and different things like that. Do remember that each of these machines has minimums as well as maximums. The maximums are going to come into play a little bit later. Uh, we're not probably going to hit a maximum when we're doing Fibonacci today. But again, remember, there are minimums and maximums. This is a machine I played very recently. Uh, we are just playing red, black, even, odd, high, low. And you'll see the maximum there is $200. And um, we could get there pretty quick. What is the Fibonacci system? What is the Fibonacci sequence? What's the sequence right here? You start with one, then you add to one, another one, you get two. You add one and two, you get three. You add two and three, you get five. You add three and five, you get eight. It differs from a martingale because the numbers don't get as big and as stupid as fast. So it gives you extra time to hit. What do I mean by hit? You're going to use both Fibonacci and martingale on even odds bets. Well, what the hell are even odds bets? See right there, we've got an even odds bet right here. The even odds bets are these bottom rows, 1 through 18, even, red, black, odd, and 19 through 36. Just for efficiency, I'm going to use these right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with a dollar. Let's just clear it all out. We're going to start with a dollar on red, and we're going to do a Fibonacci sequence. We're going to walk through it. So I'm going to spin. If I hit red, and I'm starting at $1,000 in the bottom left-hand corner, if I hit red, hey, I made money. Hey, I made money. And now I have $1,001. Well, $9.99. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's go for $1,001. Here we go. Spin now. So this is called the Fibonacci, and you'll see how it differs. Oh, zero, double, zero. Now, on non-American roulette, that doesn't really hurt you that much because uh, you get back half of what you bet. But in American roulette, you have zero, double, zero. We will talk about triple zero soon. But one plus one is two. Again, from the Fibonacci sequence, you've got that sequence right there. So we are betting up to two. Now I'm going to show you how to do this if the table minimum is more than $1. Because we can play multiple things at a time. Again, okay, we hit red. So we made our money back there. That's important. But we're going to go ahead and again, we're going to go one. So what we're doing is when we succeed here, we're going to take two steps back. We're not going to go back to the beginning like we do with a martingale. A Fibonacci actually rewards sequential wins. So if you get multiple wins in a row, you are being rewarded when it comes to the Fibonacci sequence. So again, um, I'm going to go back. Let's let's roll. Going to put a dollar on red. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Some of you are like, it's uh, the table minimum is $5, but we can bet minimum of $1. Okay, we, we missed. So our next bet... Uh, it's going to be $2. Now, Fibonacci and Martingale, the first step, the first doubling per se is the same. But after the first one, it gets a little weird. Okay, we hit red. Again, we're making money. We're just going to put a dollar. We're going to start again. I want to get a couple misses in a row to show you what happens. Because what you're doing with these hits in a row is you're saving up for your misses. So we got a two. That's fine. So we're going to bet $2 here. Trust me, it's going to get a little more complex. If you guys are looking here, you go, this isn't complex enough. This looks just like a martingale. There we go. We missed again. Now, in a martingale, we would double that 2 to 4. But in a Fibonacci, we're going to go to 3. Because what we're doing is we're adding up previous losses. And we're going to reward sequential wins. 
that's the important thing. So now we've got three bet on red. Let's see where we get to. Again, you don't want to play this on a real life table because they're going to think you're crazy. <laughs> and we made back our bet, but where we really, so we're going to go back, we're going to reset to one. But let's say that the table minimum is $3 for a moment. Well, I would put one on each of the even odds bets on the bottom. You can't bet against each other, but you put one on each of the even odds bets. Okay, so what did we hit? We hit absolutely nothing. We had black, okay. Well, that kind of sucked. Well, <laughs> if your minimum's five, <laughs> you can bet the even odds bets as well. Same way, you're just starting your sequence at two. And you have to be able to track across this. It's not the easiest thing in the world, but you want to start low. Again, 26, so we are uh, at, least, at least even. So we made money there. So the even is going to go down two steps. So that's going to go to one. And that's going to go to three. Because remember, we should have gone to three. We went down one. So we've got three and three. Again, remember the Fibonacci. Everything was at two. The next step after two is three, then five, then eight. Hopefully we get up in the bigger numbers. We got a lot of money on the table now. But that's good. You know why? Because that gets you points. Okay, that screwed us. The double zero. Uh, let me do the calculation. Okay, so the next is five. So we're two here. I'm actually happy. One, two, three, four, five. Again, we're getting hosed by the zero, but I'm going to show you how to take advantage of the zero when we do some stuff later on called electromagnet. These two are very, very basic roulette theories. What we're going to do after is the crazy stuff that I do. So we've got two. Uh, we got a two, a five, and a five. Come on, hit me. Okay, that's good. We, we won there. So... 1 through 18, 1. So that 5 is going to go down to a 2. It was an even, so it goes down to 1. Remember, 5 goes back two steps. Boom, boom. And the 2 goes back to a 1 or two steps. It doesn't matter either way. And then uh, we lost here. So now we're going up to 8. Again, we have a lot of money on the table here. But I'm going to show you how you reward subsequent wins. Well... We're not getting a lot of subsequent wins here. That's okay. All right, so where are we at there? Um, this is 13. All right, even hit uh, two ago, so that would be up to two. Um, yeah, and then that would be two as well. Pretty sure. So let's spin it. Again, you have to keep track of these three things only if you've got to get above a table minimum. All right, 13. Where did I win? Oof. I won 1 through 18, which has already been winning. So that goes back to 2 or 1. And we'll put it at 1. We'll say because we, we've already got uh, even has not hit for 2. So we'll go up to 3. And here's the thing. This is now 21. Yeah, we've done a little damage here. But when it hits, that's what's important. So we're sequentially going up by adding the bets that happened before. Boom. Thank God. And we're up. We're back. We're back where we need to be. Now, again, let's say, let, let's focus. Uh, what just hit? Uh, 18, red, even. Oh, look. Like the perfect number hit, because that resets everything to one. But let's just pretend that's one, that's one. Here's where Fibonacci rewards you for sequential wins. We're going to move back two from 21. When we did Martingale before, we would move back to the beginning of the sequence. But here, we're going to move back to eight. And what this is going to do, well, is this is going to reward us for sequential wins. So if we hit red again now, we're going to be rewarded even more. This is the benefit. We've got a lot of money out, but if we hit red again right now, we're back up more than even. That's how a Fibonacci differs from a Martingale. In a Fibonacci, we were rewarded for sequentially hitting red twice in a row. Now, I could play this out forever and ever and ever and ever if I wanted to. Actually, 
let's play it back to the beginning of the sequence. So remember, we were at eight. Well, I moved some things around. We were at eight. Now we're going to go back to three. So again, we can keep these where they need to be. Um, so that was, so that's going to be there. We'll get back to one before we reset everything. Hopefully. And we did. Look at that. I want 12 bucks. And that's how you do it. I made an 11% return in 11 minutes. Who would have thunk it? That is a Fibonacci system. Martingale and Fibonacci are the two standard systems you'll find in roulette. Now, where we go after that, we don't need rows. I mean, where we're going after that, we don't need rows. We've talked about Martingale and Fibonacci, uh, and that's used on the even odds bets. The bottom bets right there on the bottom. The, the 1 through 18, the even, the red, the black, the odd, or the 19 through 36. But things in roulette get a lot more fun, and you can make money a lot quicker. So join back as we get a six-pack in place. And we're going to talk about how to play a six-pack or, you know, a six-pack of rolls if you got one as well on No Pants Profits. I will see you for the six-pack. Stick around. We've already learned Fibonacci and Martingale. If you haven't seen Fibonacci, well, you've seen Fibonacci because in this video, if you haven't seen Martingale, check out Martingale.